I had just moved here from Tennessee and came here for my freshman year of high school. And I got here and I didn't know anybody. I didn't know really what to do. And I was kind of just lost emotionally, I guess. And I, I was really, um, really judgmental of other people. I was broken and I was lost and I was confused. I didn't know how God could possibly love someone like me someone who's done so many bad things, someone who's hurt a lot of people. Uh, I was just kind of going through life, just going to church and Sunday school and stuff like that. Not ever really grasping what it meant to be a Christian and what Christians did. All I knew was they went to church and went to Sunday school and just did what everyone told you to do. So that's what I did. I just pretty much gave God one day and said, Hey God, Sunday's your day and you can stay in that little box. Just please don't interrupt my social life. We read Donald Miller's book, A Million Miles in a Thousand Years, and it was Paul talking about how to live a better story. And at first, I really, I didn't know what that meant. You know, I just started reading the first few pages and I could not stop. It really made me want to just get up and do something for God. I think that from that moment on, my, my spiritual life has grown in extraordinary ways. It kind of just opened my eyes to see that we're not meant to just sit idle and just go to church and stuff, but we're meant to be out sharing the Word of God. So uh, I really, I just had the random idea, what if we bring pastries down to Brookfield Park every Saturday morning um, over the summer? And uh, they were like, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. We were all pumped. We had been planning this for weeks, and we get out here and we get one, one guy. The moment that he sat down at our table, that was when I knew that this is what we needed to be doing. And then we moved it downtown to the square where a lot of the homeless population is. It's completely grown from giving food to one to two people a week to having like 80. And you know, we know what's going on in their life and they you know, they know what's going on in ours and we can just interact with them at a very personal level. And I never expected to have that relationship with a homeless person. They're, they always come up and hug us and stuff like that. And just like, just them giving us a hug just shows to us, like, that's totally worth it. A lot of people start loving God, and then they get involved in ministry, but I got involved in ministry, and through that, I started to love God. It's really changed me from the inside out. Before, we were just a bunch of friends who would, you know, just all three of us go hang out at someone's house, maybe watch a movie, sit around all day, and now it feels like we have something to do. You know, we have something, what'd you do this weekend? Well, I actually, you know, did something that affected more than just myself.